common mistakes made by both beginner and advanced users of Armour 3D. The first one is quite uncommon, but it is a very important one. So when you're installing Armour 3D, make sure you put it in its own folder. Try not to put it in C slash programs or some other folder with administrative privileges. Next, make sure you don't put your folders, as in your project folders, inside a, a folder such as C slash programs for the same reasons. When installing Nami 3D for the first time, make sure you put, don't put it inside a folder that's going to be auto backed up to the cloud using something like OneDrive, because that can, can completely destroy your Nami 3D SDK and it can even have severe consequences uh, that might actually make you factory reset your computer to solve the issue and finally use Nami 3D again. It's a true story and it's a pretty chaotic, so just don't have OneDrive activated. It's not worth it. I'm kidding. Next up. When you have a problem, when you have a node tree and nothing's happening when you're playing the scene, 9 times out of 10 it will be because you forgot to assign the node tree to an object. You can also assign a node tree to a scene. And while we're talking about assigning node trees to scenes and objects, this one is very important as well. It's what causes your computer to crash or at least your program to freeze. And that is exponential spawning. When you spawn an object using a node tree, don't assign that node tree to the object you're trying to spawn because that will cause it to spawn copies of itself, meaning each copy is also going to spawn an object and have an, an exponentially fastly grown amount of spawned objects. So don't do that. Make sure you assign your node tree to the scene. Another highly important trick is when you have an error and you're not sure what's going on, if something's not working, and you're not sure how to fix it, go to Window and then System Console, and that will give you a console with information about what went wrong or what did work. Uh, that is very important because if you read that properly, then you should be able to fix the issue yourself. Unless there's a problem that doesn't say what the problem is. In that case, you can go ahead and contact the community and we should be able to help you. And if we can't, then, uh, you know, bad luck.